My name is David Welch. I am here at Brothers Tech Center today to show you how to do the hinges on a 67 to 72 truck. Now we've all seen these where the hood's all bumped up in the back. That's because your hood hinges are worn out. These happen to get all bent up when the latch went bad and folded up the hood. But today what I'm going to do is show you how to replace these without doing any damage to your truck or your hood and a couple of helpful handy hints to go along with it at the same time. So stay tuned and let's get this hood done. So one of the most important things you want to remember when you're taking out your hood is to always do this top bolt first. If I take this bolt out, nothing's going to happen. The hood's just going to stay there. But if you take out your bottom bolt, it's going to fall forward and it's going to bend this up. All right. So now we're going to get a friend to help us out. We're going to put a blanket on the back right here. And you're going to want to take both of the bolts out at the same time so that we can get this up and off. Okay, good. About right there. Watch your step-ins. Now, of course, we sell springs new but these aren't that old and we can reuse them. If you're going to reuse yours, you're going to want to take them off before you unbolt from the bender because it's the only thing that's giving you enough security. You're going to just take a screwdriver like this, get it underneath the bar right here, get it up on this little tab, and then you can just go ahead and do something like that. Now, it is a little dangerous and you're going to have to watch your fingers, so be careful. Now, when we took these bolts off right here, we did the top one first, but whenever we're taking off something like this, doors, fenders, what have you, you always wanna take your lower bolt off first. And the reason for that is, if I have my upper bolts taken off first, and then I'm taking off my lower bolt, it's gonna wanna fall forward, and it can maybe damage things up some. But if I do it the other way around, by taking out the bottom first, and then the top, you can see that even with the bolt in the bottom and the top taken off, it still just sits there nice and it doesn't bend anything up. Now I can take this off nice and comfortable with the secure knowledge I'm not going to damage anything. Now you're going to install this basically opposite of how you took it out. You're just going to put your top bolts in first and then your bottom bolt. Another thing that you're going to want to notice is that it is slotted so you can go down and up with it. I like to bring it all the way up because once the hood's on there and I'm lining it up, it's easier to push the hood down than it'll pull the whole thing up. So I'm just going to get these kind of snugged on here and then I'll show you how to put on your hood without doing any damage. Now the hood hinge, when it's new, it might be really stiff. Sometimes when it's painted, it kind of jams everything together. If I put my hood on and then I try to push it down hard, it might warp my hood. So before I put my spring on, I'll put some oil on the joints and then I'll make sure that this is operating nice and smooth. Then I can put on my spring in my hood. All right, so getting our hood hinge spring on, I'm just gonna get the lower attached first. The top, we got the big uh, screwdriver here. Get it on that ledge and then go ahead and spring it on up. Over. Okay. Get set. <clears throat> now have your nuts and bolts all ready. And then one person gets his bolt in on the bottom first. After he gets his in, then the other side can get theirs in. If you try to do both at the same time, you're just generally going to fight each other. Once you get this bottom uh, snug, then you're okay. You're nice and safe. We can get the other bolts in and line it up. All right, so this is slotted right here so that you can adjust your hood. What we're going to do is we're going to bring that all the way forward and we're just going to tighten it up just a little bit. I still want to be able to move the hood to help me line it up. The reason that we're doing this is that when I bring the hood down, I'll be able to just tap it back and line it up. It's a little bit easier than pulling it forward. 
Now, if you're concerned about your paint, obviously you're going to want to get tape up on here and make sure that it's all protected. Also, it's good to get a buddy to watch one side while you're watching this side to make sure that nothing gets scratched. Once the hood's down this far, I can see how I'm lining up right here. I can see that this is a little bit too far forward, so I can just gently bump back like that until it gets lined up. Maybe you have to loosen up the bolts. You're going to have to do it a few times, but you'll get it right sooner or later. Once I've got my hood lined up side to side, front to back, then I'll just gently bring this up because remember that the bolts are loose. And then we'll sneak up under and we'll tighten them up. When you're tightening them up, just get them snugged up a little bit and then snugged up a little bit more until you're tight. Don't just grab one and torque it all the way down. So we're all lined up everywhere else and we just got this right here. You can see that it's bumped up a little bit. We're going to take care of that by adjusting the hood hinge where it bolts to the fender. All we got to do is take it and move it up and down a little bit and we'll get that lined up. So our hood is all on and it's lined up, but it's not done quite just yet. We need to replace these little rubber stops right here. We don't want to do the lineup with them in because it can force the hood over to one way or the other. Getting these in is a little bit of a trick. We're going to get either some soapy water uh, or some Windex on there. And we're going to put it at about a 45 degree angle here into the slot. We're going to want to get something to kind of shove it up in there. And you're just going to kind of slide it up in there. And then on the very last bit that's hanging out, you're just going to go ahead and gently tuck that into the hole and we'll be all set with that. Our next piece that we're going to be replacing is our front bumper stops, which are these guys right here. Let me show you how to line up that. So this is going to be our final step right here. It's going to keep our hood from shutting down too far or being up too high. I took the old one out, I screwed the new one in, and I went all the way down with it. Then what I did is I made sure that this was in the right spot right here. How we do that is we'll loosen up these four bolts. We'll go ahead and we'll bring it down. We'll make sure that it fits in here properly. We'll bring it up a little bit and we'll tighten it up. The final bit is this guy right here. It also adjusts up and down. So we'll shut the hood. We'll make sure if we're up or down, we'll adjust it where we want it. And then on our ends right here, if it's tucked down too far, we'll simply screw this guy up. If it's up too far, then we'll screw it down. So once we got it all set, we're all done. So make sure that when you're getting into a job like this, you've got everything that you need all at the same time. You don't want to get halfway through it and then find out you're forgetting this, that, or the other. So make sure you get your hood cow rubber along with your hinges and anything else that you might need at the same time. Also, make sure you check us out on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to the YouTube channel because I'm here every single week making sure that I can get your truck looking good and back on the road. We will see you out there, man.